Sometimes it is fine. The new, the new sea is totally great. It looks kind of nice during the day. Yeah, no, it's like a nice little house. It was really creepy during at night. That's what I want to see, like, outside, because it looks like right now that's not, like, green and dark. It looks, like, nice. Mm hmm You're awake, Mr. Pierce. Hello. How do you feel? <sighs> Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Okay. Hey, Bradley. How's our fugitive? <laughs> Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Uh, well, Bradley got killed. Um... Then he's alive again. I got trapped in a rock slide and I'm alive. You can choose to talk to one of them. Talk to Colden. Um... Tell us what happened. Let's just say this. I met a Francis Sanders. You know him. Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. Yeah, well, he's dead. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. He's dead. What? How did he die? Uh, I'm invisible sure monster? Explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I don't want to. Oh, whatever. I didn't see what, but something was there. You're gonna think I'm insane. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Hmm. Sarah Hawkins? We sound mad. Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. You've missed a lot, Bradley, because you're dead. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You wanna know how I he's really still alive? Think she's involved. How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. Hmm. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. Oh, Francis Sanders. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife. He's the one that bought a bunch of her paintings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An art collector, you say? And she even gave him a That's gift. That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. Yeah, the, the last know. painting she, she painted was given as a gift to Francis advised. Sanders, too. We don't know the bottom of it. Uh, You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to... Let's be reasonable. That seems wise indeed. Yes, it will fit Very your well. destiny. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Are we going to see all the paintings that she gave him? Talk to Sanders' widow. Do we have to be sneaky now? I'm guessing we have to go... I think we can just leave. Or it's... It looks like we can talk to... These people. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Okay. Cool. Very helpful. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. Oh, hey, look it. Is that like, uh, Charles with his messed up face? Kind of, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go see Francis Sanders' wife. Pierce, Colden, and Bradley decide to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow Francis Sanders, an art lender and friend of the painter, who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. Alright, okay, we're going to see his art collection. Now I'm thinking about, like, decisions we made. Because, like, remember there was a decision we could have made to tell Bradley to stay outside the house. I wonder what would happen if we did that. Yeah. I wonder how much it affects what happens. What can I do for you, sir? Your husband Mrs. died. Sanders, I'm a private detective. He got killed by an invisible monster. Talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. So is Francis Sanders like this really rich guy? It looks However, like it. Before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me. You no, know, it's Cat. Oh no. Well, well. Look who's here. Like that. 
Can we tell her to leave? I wish we could. You know each other. Our paths crossed. Briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. Not really. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. <laughs> it's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? Nobody. I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. So you will, Miss Baker. I don't like Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And yeah, do make annoying. yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. She seems suspicious. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Oh, uh, well, I was in the insane asylum. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. She sounds jealous. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. Well... How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? Are they going to say he had, like, a heart attack or something? Oh, can't be a psychology man. He died screaming. Uh, sure. We had a short conversation and then I left. I don't know what happened after that. Oh, no need to bring up I invisible see. monsters. Oh, Mr. Pierce, you must forgive my audaciousness, but I've had practice of life in high society for over 30 years. Reading one's interlocutors, recognizing the politeness of a lie, are things that are taught yeah. very early to young girls from a good family. But your lie has nothing polite about it. <laughs> it is crass, insulting, and dare I say, terribly suspicious. Fine. Try to understand my position. Your husband I was killed by a terrible invisible monster. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? Uh, you are. Hold a test of eloquence. How about no? Um, we want to point the finger at Fuller. Or did you want to say that it wasn't us? Is this blaming her, though? Like, it wasn't me who sent him there because she sent him there? Oh, yeah. Probably should just blame Fuller. Yeah, let's not blame her. Fuller. He's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you. You'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. Hmm. That churl no longer takes the yeah, trouble destiny. to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. You must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. Yeah, see, we would have blamed her but for I putting him in there. But I what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Can I see your paintings? Tell me about the dimensional shambler. I don't care about cat. Let's just go for it. I deduce that your husband already mentioned this dimensional shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. I'm guessing it's a it's picture. He did it at the center of yeah. the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. So I wonder if that was like the well, last gift that the he got. The is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself. Hmm. If you feel so inclined. Sounds like a bad it idea, is but my sure. Only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. <laughs> For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I don't like her I either. Won't be long. She's kind of annoying. Like always, most of the uh the day the shambler came into the Sanders' oh, lives. Looks like a mouth. Like screaming. Who's the... Wait, who's this? Oh, is it Sarah Hawkins? 
You have a photograph of Sarah Hawkins next to the Sanders. Yeah. They must be close. Oh. Oh. Glad I looked at that. I don't know. A house of artists. A house of artists. I used to be an avid reader. Oops, psychology. Frances Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? I mean, considering that he bought all of her paintings, probably. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Oh, so I'm guessing, like, as he bought painting after painting, he got closer and closer to, like, something. And was begging her to, like, sell him that last painting. Was the Shambler the gift, though? Yeah, I don't know. I, that's what I was assuming, but maybe not. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? <laughs> she both looked not happy. Let's look at Sarah. She didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Guessing she knew that it was going to lead to bad, bad stuff. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Yes. Oh no. Can use our occultism. Ah! Oh gosh. <laughs> I like the little ah! Uh. Nope, oh, ripped out his own eyes. The Shambler. I need to see it. Oh, oh after... he told us not to look at it, didn't he? After that. Oh yeah, that, maybe that's what he was talking about. Not don't Did look at that. Did you really care for him after all? I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your, the, your deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you at the moment of his interment. You signed a discharge allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you. Yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. Okay, let's go see this Shambhala. Oh, there's a. A book? Is it a book medicine? on medicine? Nice. Better medicine. Okay. I'm guessing it's this way. Oh, that's a. That's moving. Oh, is that a picture of her? Oh, there was like blood on it, but then it morphed and there's no more longer blood on it. Yeah, and there's like a thing that's right below it. a picture of it. her. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is a picture of her, too. Hmm. Are these hidey closets? I don't like that. That means there's more stealth coming up sometime. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Ah, it's a little wax, wax record. These things are so cool. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. Mm. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Why is there creepy backing music? Okay. I can't take nope. anymore. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Okay. All right. Those accursed paintings, that accursed Sarah. Mm hmm. Well, after that, I totally want to go in there now. Can we can we burn it like you said? I can listen to it again. No thanks. Anything else interesting? It's locked. It says examine the shambler. I don't want to examine the shambler. It's locked. locked. Oh wait, is it in the is it in his office? Is it where Yeah, it's further I'm guessing it's further along. I'm just Yeah. Just curious. Because is it in the stuff. one that uh Miss Baker's in? Cat or whatever. I must see paintings down there. It's locked. Hmm. Oh, there's Katarina. She's gonna be like, what the heck are you doing in here? Ah. 
Atomical, anatomical question. More medicine, thank you. Uh, a strange Amerindian pendant. Hmm. Amerindian? I've never heard of that. Occultism, nice. Oh, we just stole a pendant. The whale and the gold. Dark water on it. Get all this progression. I use one of those. Man, everyone's on sleeping pills. Everyone's on the exact same sleeping pills as well. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. Give it away for nothing, so to finally give it away for nothing. Dear Francis, I beg to I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning to you, for you please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend Sarah Hawkins. So in the house, in that circle there is an easel. Mm-hmm. So was the Shambler painting on that easel and she was trying to like keep it sealed in? And it didn't work. But then she gave it away to him and then it got out. Hmm. An old diary. Inspect all 50 items. <laughs> Achievement. In the house? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, we've, there's been more. Maybe just in all. Can I talk to her? What about this? Oh, don't. Should we read it? What does it say on the cover? Can you read that? Uh, something bestiary. Read it. Oh. Yep. Except to read an unholy book. An encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe they exist. This will affect your destiny. Cultism progression. At least there's that. I don't want to talk to her. Strength. We already have a strength of like three. Yeah, but it's a little box. Key to the Sanders Gallery. Okay, I guess we should talk to her. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. What are you talking about? Try not to make a you. habit of it. What did we do? I've got a lot of bad habits. Huh. Some can be more fatal than others. How do we step on what her toes? What have you come looking for in this gallery? Well, first by going to the warehouse that she had control over and then coming here is the second time. Oh, whatever. Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. Is she gonna help us? All's fair in love and war, I suppose. So we're just not gonna tell her? Oh, I thought that was the option that was gonna have us tell her. I guess not. What did you say? I said all's fair in love and war. Yeah, I thought that was going to be the one that... Can I talk to her again? Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Fine, I'll go in the gallery without you. And I was trying to, like, tell her about it, but... I guess I picked the wrong one. Okay. Oh no, see Heidi closets. I don't want to look at the painting. I don't want Heidi closets. Ooh, there's something in the case. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Those look like Cthulhu artifacts. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool sphinx. Like the golden skull for a face. That's pretty sick. That dagger is pretty sick. Can I have it? You know, can we, can we have that to carry around? Nope, there, there it, is. it is. How about we avoid that for now? How about we just don't look at it? Because I feel like once we look at that... Examine the shambler. Why does it have to be our Yeah, it's all gonna pop off when we up oh, more oil. We haven't really used our lantern. Well that one's pretty cool too. I don't know, what's up with all these cool daggers? Why is every case like a dagger in the middle than like two other artifacts? Because the dagger's are the coolest part. Like every single case is the same way. More weird sphinx things. He's just he's just a guy that likes daggers, like I mean. A, another dagger. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Yeah, okay. there's wow. an elder sign on that dagger. Another weird dagger. He's a man of taste. Look at all these daggers. Another weird dagger. Uh, sh I mean, I guess... The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. I'm not looking at it. More oil. Oh, can you burn it? Can you, like, for? burn it? I can't even take out my lantern. Hello, Shambler. Sure, whatever. Uh, Let's just get this over with. 
I hate this. Nope. Yep. Yep. That'll happen. Oh no. It's gonna grab us. It's gonna come out of the painting. Burn the painting, burn the painting, burn the painting. Oh, we can actually see it. Jeez. We're gonna like hide and run away, aren't we? This sucks. I hate this. We're gonna stealth our way out of here while he's trying to eat us. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. There's no eyes. Oh, gosh. Please. How did I get to not get us there? It's a game. It had to be dramatic. Two character points. What the hell was that? I'm just a shambler. Okay. We're going to take a quick... Take a quick break. Nine. We have nine. We can almost do both of these. Should we get an investigation up just to max just to level? max it out, yeah. Max level. And then we can start on this. Because psychology has been pretty useful so far. Yeah, no, we've had a lot of psychology recently. Because most of the things we can just skip over eloquence. <sighs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I mean, you're going to have to do everything. I just get to sit here and watch. I don't know. Oh, I can gosh. be your call-out guy, about, but that's about it. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, Where am I trying to get to? Just out? So oh, where is the out? I thought I was in this room. What the hell? I can't even touch it. Touch what? Damn. Maybe. I can use this dagger. Oh. Oh, you have to figure out which dagger hits it? Nope. Oh. Well, it's not that one. Okay, so we have to find out... Do we ever get a clue about... Well, you said there was an Elder Sign on one of them. Oh, shit, yeah. Which one was that? It was over in the right wing. Not the right wing. The left one? The okay. left one. If you're facing the painting, it's the one on the left. Okay, and so we have the to back one. What the hell was that? We have to so figure out how to get in there. It's the one over on his side. Yeah, because elder signs are like um they're like good symbols. They're supposed to be like protection against eldritch creatures. I did not know that. So you you've said that a couple times, looking at different like things. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Well that's why when you play like Mansions of Madness, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The uh, dice have elder signs on them, like the successes. Oh, that's what the successes are? Okay, I have seen that in them before. I was confused. Yeah, and that's why I like the, the successes on those dice. Yeah, there's one in the back. Back left. This one? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that one. This deck looks different. Can we just attack it? No. Oh, do we have to go stab the painting, maybe? Did he pick us up off the floor? Yeah, he like stabbed us in the stomach and like launched us. Okay, okay so maybe we have to grab that dagger and go to the, the painting. painting. What the hell was that? Okay. Good thing you have some prior knowledge, otherwise we'd have to go through each dagger individually. Yeah, that is... Good to know. Handy little bit of knowledge. I kind of have to like draw it over here. How far I can't see you from? I don't really know. Da this dagger looks different. Coming for you now. Please be fast enough. There we go. 
We did it. Okay. It's, it's getting dragged back. Oh, no, no. Stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it. Stab in the face. Yeah. Got him. Okay. Well, that wasn't as horrible as uh, I thought I was going to be. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cut it off. Do it. What's the matter with you? Oh no. We're just mad. Uh nothing. Stab her. Are you sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, mm. detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. Oh, no. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Did we all just... I can't, I can't tell if we're all just imagining this. I said we just tell her. Which one, though? That you were attacked or that the painting... Our cultum is reasonably high, isn't it? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. Believe us, what come on. What are you talking about? Please. I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back. I I think so too. Oh, <gasps> yes. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You, you mean goods? me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. Mm. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. Hmm. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. Uh, I feel like that's going to lead to her being like, you owe me. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. If Hawkins was trying to get rid of this shambler, she might have made contact with Drake. This antique mm. dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. Yeah. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene. She doesn't she doesn't seem that bad. She's okay. Yeah, I feel like at the end it's gonna be like she's actually working towards being good. She's looking at an empty chest. And I'll put that pain in. Hmm. What you looking at? Yeah, but the Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painting artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the nameless bookstore. Pierce decided to pay the library a visit. So yeah. Um, she seems like she, in the end, is probably working towards the good. She's just kind of a, a hard ass. Because yeah, it would make sense because she was trying to block off people from getting into the warehouse, which had the painting and whoever yeah, was hiding. Yeah, she's trying to get rid of all these paintings because they're bad. And also it seemed like, yeah, Sarah Hawkins was trying to get rid of the Shambler by probably using that circle to like get rid of it or seal it or something, but then wasn't able to. And then she eventually broke down and sold the painting to... Or did Francis. she just sell it? She gave it as a gift? She gave she... it as a gift. Maybe she was just like, I'm done. Because he was bothering her so much. 